Got another rack of work. Ooh. They must call it out when they're bringing out a new rack. I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. I'm in New Jersey. Um, I want to say this just, just to kind of get the ball rolling a little bit. Um, I had to go to a memorial service today for a, a good friend of mine um, who lost his battle to cancer. And um, there were a lot of people that showed up and it was a nice little service. And it was nice to see his family and spend some time talking to his, his son, Matt, who's a friend of mine as well. And um, Matt was uh, Matt was an avid treasure hunter, so I don't have time to go do detecting today. I know Matt liked to go picking, and he was always going to the Columbus flea market and trying to find things to pick and flip himself. He had this thing for DVDs. I don't, uh, I could never get into DVDs, but he did good with it, and he enjoyed being out. He enjoyed friends and and life and his family and um so i decided to stop here in lumberton new jersey on the way home um i'm gonna stop in this goodwill and see if i can do a little picking today myself i don't normally do this this is not this is not generally my thing is shopping at the goodwills um i do pretty good when i go with joss um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I think we're stronger together because there's a lot of things that she knows that I don't know. And there's things that I know that she doesn't know. And, but a lot of times both of us go with our gut feeling on a lot of things. Um, and, and, and it's all, it's all just giant, it's, it's treasure hunting. That's all it is. It's, it's treasure hunting. Um, so I'm going to go in here and I would like to, dedicate this picking trip and this video to my friend Matthew Tamaney, um, gentle giant, outstanding human being, would give you the shirt off his back. Um, so we're going to head in before I start bawling my eyes out and uh, let's go find some treasure together. Plenty of electronics. Ooh, what do we got in here? Robin Air. Volt Watt Meter. It's an older piece. Baskets. I like looking at the baskets because you never know when you'll find a vintage butt basket or maybe a longer burger not seeing any of the baskets that I would grab here we got hiding here. I like looking at the bags just because you never know what might be mixed in there that's a neat looking chip and dip bowl or maybe a nut and snack bowl I like the form on that what is that hmm. I don't know maybe we'll come back to it we'll see there's lots to look at here oh, that's cute little dragon music box again sometimes these bags have cool stuff in them these look like all souvenir magnets I know people collect magnets but I don't know magnets some stamps Ooh, these are new too. Oh, that's a shame this is damaged. That would have been good for a jewelry display. Huh? 
<laughs> Could have bought this this morning instead of going to Target and overspending for one of these. In case you didn't notice, I'm bald. <laughs> By choice. It was time to get rid of the mop. Yeah. We've got another rack of work. Ooh. They must call it out when they're bringing out a new rack. It's like, hey, here's the dinner bell. Come and get it. Hmm. Notice these price tags, too. Like, we're always fighting the price tags. But they're doing these on, like, some sort of, like, rubber foam. Two-way rubber foam or something. I don't know. It's weird. It's different. It's on everything. I like looking for certain types of cookware. Um, copper bottom stuff. I like cooking with the copper bottom stuff. It's cute. It's probably modern though. Yes, very modern. Again, this really isn't my, necessarily my forte stuff. But I like to look. And sometimes I get lucky. Not all the time, just sometimes. Picture frames. I've always wanted to go to London. Maybe if I just buy this and stick my picture in it and pretend like I've been to London, that'd be fun. <laughs> well, it's a clear glass. That is one thing I'm not a fan of is clear glass. Can't do clear glass very often. Occasionally I'll come across something that's cool. These are kind of neat. Bass ale. This is something I like checking out too, is the silver plate, because sometimes the silver plate's not silver plate, but you never know. Coasters are usually where I find um, sterling bands, but this one's just plate. It's a cool bowl. Ooh, I like that. I'll have to uh, give it the finger test and make sure it's not chipped or damaged anywhere before I stick it in the cart. Yep, looks like it's got some damage, so we're gonna have to put that one back. That's a shame. I would have grabbed that. That's a cool looking piece. Oh, that's what. They actually have alarms on their tags. See the little metal lines running through? So you can't steal the stuff from Goodwill. You shouldn't be stealing from Goodwill in the first place. You shouldn't steal from anywhere, really, but... I like fruit-shaped bowls. I don't know why. Something about fruit-shaped bowls. You could do, like, fruit and a fruit dip. Spode Archive Collection. Of the Georgian series. I'm not familiar with that one. That's good for sushi sauce. Put some uh, soy sauce, some wasabi, and some ginger. Sushi plates. Juliet would be all over that. She likes her sushi. Kind of neat looking. What is this? Ooh, I like.
like that. Ooh, I like the color on that. Oh, that's nice. $4.99? That's a nice decorative piece. Yeah, we'll grab that one. I like the shell on that. That's really cool. Nice impression glass. We've had mixed luck with depression glass. Um, it's not one of my favorite things. Let's go back this way because there's another aisle. Do, 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 do. Let's see what's down here. It looks like holiday stuff. I'm doing pretty good with holiday stuff. Christmas stuff could be really good. Halloween stuff could be really, really good. Board games, puzzles. I typically avoid them generally because you don't really know if all the pieces are there, unfortunately. Um, I have found some sealed ones. Those are usually okay to pick up. Like whatever this is, it looks sealed. Kids gardening kit. Stick that in the closet for the apocalypse. And then you could grow some vegetables and survive. I do like to look at the toys because if you can find some 80s, 90s action figures, they're uh, they're becoming popular again, or they have become popular again. Bags of Barbies. What do we got hiding in here? Probably all more modern Barbies, but again, it doesn't hurt to take a look at the bags because you never know. Luggage? Anybody need luggage? Want to go on a trip to London? And you can use that photo frame. Oh, this is the dude from Toy Story. Slinky dog. Yeah, he's kind of cool. He's kind of stretched out though, unfortunately. Not really seeing a whole lot. Um, got a couple things in the cart. Let's go check out these racks that they just brought out. I see owls. Oh my god, that's adorable. Oh, I love it. It looks like, almost looks like one of those Peruvian ones that we get. South American. Oh, that is too cool. We're def that's definitely going in the cart. $2.99? Yeah, that's a great owl. Go in the cart. Today might be Owl Day. This one was for a votive candle. Oh, he's cool. I know Joss will be happy if I bring home some owls. Let's see what this one is. Oh, he's neat too. You know, with all those owls, I'm gonna have to get myself a new coffee mug. Because I'm proud to be awesome. <laughs> I'm totally getting this for myself. And I'm gonna drink my coffee out of this tomorrow morning. And I'm going to Instagram it and talk about it <laughs> and how awesome I am. Just kidding. But I am going to get it just because. Oh, that's cool. Central Perk. Friends. Let's see what we got on the carts over here. Art supplies. I got all the owls though. Ha 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 ha. Let's go around to the other side and see if we can see anything on the cart on the other side. Actually, let's make a pit stop back here. Looks like they got a bunch of stuff out on the table back here. Not quite sure what this is all about. It's a cool cookie jar. That Santa's got like a creepy look to him. He's like, hey, you see my glasses? What do we got in here? Interesting little set made in China though. Alright, let's take a look and see what we got here. Purses and bags. Any phone cord purses? Probably not. But it doesn't hurt to look. I've gotten lucky myself on a couple purses. Liz Claiborne. 
Nope, nothing that really catches my eye off of that rack. All right, let's check out some of the artwork. If you need a reminder on how to tie your shoes, you can get some, get this big pop art piece here. That's kind of cool. I do like looking at the frame stuff because sometimes you will find something old, vintage, neat, interesting. And I have gotten lucky on those, but not today. I don't see anything that's really catching my eye. I mean, unless you like cranberries, you want to, you want to get some cranberries, you can get cranberry farmers. We need the poo. Somebody sent us a really nice child set for the baby. It was, uh, Marie Childs, I think, is the name of the company. Something that Joss is always out looking for. It was like a whole set. It was like a cup, a utensil, a bowl, a plate. Like, it was, it was a really nice, really nice set. Let's go this way. Take one more look on these shelves. I like doing a couple walkthroughs because you always miss stuff on the first go-round. It gets a little more modern, but it's still kind of a cool planner. Good for succulents. I'm finding a whole, whole lot here. But the parking lot is like super busy. The clothing is definitely busy. What is that? A s'mores maker? Ooh. Kids love doing s'mores. But I like doing them the old fashioned way because we've got a big chimney or whatever I think it's called um, in our backyard and we've been using that to do s'mores with the kids my mom came for a visit a couple weeks ago to see the baby and uh, she brought s'mores stuff and they did s'mores out in the backyard that's always fun I want to take one more look at these carts and just make sure I didn't miss any good owls is this an Avon bottle yes it is <laughs> There's cologne inside there, and now my hand's gonna smell like it. Ooh. This guy's kind of interesting. He's got a vintage look to him. He's actually not in awful shape either. Let's see, two ninety nine. He's a firefighting dog. Oh, he's cool. Oh, I like him. He's really not in that bad of shape either. It's a neat vintage stuffed animal. Vinyl. He's got some age to him. You know, I don't normally pick these up, but this guy's got a... He's cool. He's got a little fire department helmet on. We'll stick him in the car. He's a cool decoration. I wouldn't cuddle with him. Maybe. Well, depends on how lonely I get. Yeah, they definitely got a ton of stuff here. We'll take one more look up the other side of the tables and then I think we're gonna call it quits because I have a three-hour drive home Hawaii 1980 it's as old as I am can't read what that says monkey pod from I don't know. Oahu, that's what it says. Oahu, that's actually really nice. Mm, do I grab it? Do I grab it? Do I grab it? I kind of like it. Mm, mm. Okay, I'll get it. There's another owl, but I don't think we're going to get this one. Owl by Andrea. This is so difficult one-handed. Nope, that one's broken. Darn it. It's a nice form, nice colors. 
This is pretty cool. This is a complete set of the Looney Tunes comic ball cards by, by Upper Deck. Um, I remember these when I was younger. I have had this collection. Um, I never had the full set though. But this set sells for like 20 25 bucks, and they've got it marked at $3.99. And I think, since it's completely sealed and it's a brand new set, I mean, it's a great pop item. Um, I think we'll stick that in the cart. We'll grab that. That's that's not a bad little little item. It's easy to ship. And I think it can even be sent media mail. I think um I think that's gonna be it for my trip here. Uh when I get all this stuff out to the truck, maybe we'll go over it again one more time so you guys can see what I picked. Um I, don't know, I got about 20-30 minutes in the store and uh now I got a three hour drive home, so I'm going to call it quits and we'll see if the boss is happy with my purchases and uh, see if she gets amused by my mug just because I'm awesome. I know. We got the fire dog, we got the Looney Tunes, fruit bowl, some owls, and this piece of art glass here in the Hawaiian decoration. So that's kind of cool. All right. Until next time. I have to remember to stare at the spot where the lens is. Otherwise it looks like I'm looking off to the side. I'm not used to this. This is not my thing. Don't mind the stains in the background. I think the toilet upstairs overflowed. Not sure. But I'm going to go take a three hour ride home after I go look at the cart they just pulled out. They just pulled another cart out. So, let's Well, we're not in need of a microwave anymore, but we could have used that a couple weeks ago moving into the house. See some toy stuff. What else we got here? There's some more decorative plates and shoes. Nothing, uh, nothing I'm going to get excited about. All right, so that is it for Lumberton, New Jersey, Goodwill. Um, music was a little loud in there, but, you know, I'm not from the area, so I'm not about to go up to the front desk and go, hey, can you turn the music down so I can film? Not my thing. Um, but we did get some cool stuff. Um, I did get to go to the memorial service this morning, this, well, this afternoon. I left the house this morning, and... Uh, now I got a nice three hour drive home. Two and a half, three, by the time I stop, grab something to eat, you know, whatever. Um, the turnpike is a lonely place, but I don't mind. I like road trips, I like getting on the road, being out for a few hours, getting some stuff done. Um, I've got a ton of shovels in the back seat. Uh, my buddy Joe brought those up from South Jersey and uh, swapped them off to me. I uh, have a relic relic show, military show in Doswell, Virginia next weekend, July 16th and 17th. So I needed those for that event because we set up the metal detecting equipment at those shows. So, um, so yeah, so the back seat's chock full. But I did get a bag of stuff here. I got some owls. I got myself a new coffee mug. Um, a few other odds and ends at Vintage Fire Dog. I thought he was pretty cool. And the Looney Tunes card set. And if she doesn't want to list the Looney Tunes card set, I'll let one of the kids rip it apart and stare at it, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe we'll just redonate it. <laughs> um, sometimes we pick up things and they wind up getting redonated just because we don't get to them. But uh, but I enjoyed my day. I enjoyed seeing some friends. I enjoyed uh, getting out and hitting the Goodwill. I haven't done that in a while by myself. Um, I don't get much time to get out because I'm either taking care of kids or working at the shop and me and Joss switch back and forth and sometimes she's with the kids and I'm out doing things and we, you know, it's, it's a nice 50, 50 thing. So we've got a nice, we got a nice, uh, schedule going on for us. So, and then in the evenings we all get to spend time at home together, which is great. So, but just remember don't 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 take life for granted you know enjoy yourself get out find things find people that you get along with 
and just just have a good time enjoy it while you can and uh, get out and find your own treasure so we'll see you on the next video and uh, hopefully you don't have to put up with me too much <laughs> bye Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.